Hello everyone. Today we'll be learning about regular expressions and how can that be useful for marketers. So let's begin. So what are regular expressions? Regular expressions are nothing but patterns that you can use to match some characters in a string. And this can be super useful when you're working with Google Analytics and Google Sheets. So there are three major types of regular expression. The first one is called a wildcard. So basically, primarily you will have just six major types of wildcard regular expressions that would be used majorly. The first one is dot. So what this dot will do is it will match any character. So D dot G would ideally match dog, dag, big or any letter between D and G. The dot can be replaced by any character basically. And then there is a star. Star matches anything you know from zero to more than zero times. So if I were to combine the dot with the star, it would ideally match any character length. So dot star would match all the characters. And then moving on to the third one, the third one is a question mark. Question mark ideally matches zero to one times. So dogs matches dog without S. So here S is optional or dogs. Then moving on to the fourth one, it's percentage 20. You must, you must have seen this in many of your URLs as well. This matches one or more times. Dogs percentage 20 would match dogs or dogs. So S can appear once, which is in dogs, or can appear more than once, which is in dogs with double S. Pipe basically just means or. So X pipe Y would match with X or Y. And this forward backward slash basically escapes any special character. So here there's a special character with question mark. Question mark ideally stands for zero to one matches, but here we would escape that with a backward slash. So who backward slash question mark matches who with a question mark. Moving on next to the next type of the second type of uh, regular expressions come anchors. Anchors are nothing but majorly two types of uh, regular expressions. The first one is uh, a caret symbol with uh, whatever string that you want to attach with it and it will match at the start of the string. So caret T would match with D or there. So here notice that both these uh, terms start with the capital T and um, so X dollar sign would ideally mean that uh, whatever the string is it should end with that x so e dollar would match there is me in this there is me has e at the end so this string would match with this regular expression moving on to the third one this is very simple groups when you talk about groups basically groups are nothing but again just two simple types of regular expressions it is uh, square bracket x or x as we already know uh, pipe symbol stands for or so it would match x or x the square brackets are usually used to group two uh, terms that you want to uh, match then there are curly brackets curly bracket x would match x number of times so g curly bracket 2 would match double g's but not single g and again so here it basically means that g can appear twice in the string that you want to match. So we'll look at some exercise um, on a Google Sheet to be able to understand the usage properly. This is a typical report from Google Analytics giving you the landing page report with sessions, percentages, new sessions, new users, and bounce rate, and pages per session, and things like that for your website. And your website has landing pages like this, which would be the home page, Labrador Dog, which is um, like a page dedicated to Labradors. Then there's a listicle of all dogs, a Persian cat page, all cats page, dog slash food, which is specifically talking about food for dogs, then cat slash foods, talking about food for cat and things like that. 
So what you're asked for is to get the same report filtered down for cats and dogs specifically. So we want Labrador, we want all dogs, we want Persian cat page, we want all cats, but we don't want dog food, we don't want cat food and even the clothing in the animals page. So one of the patterns that we could identify this is that it ends with dogs or dog or it ends with cat or cats. So um, now to create a regular expression for this, we can write that whatever the landing page is, it ends with dogs or dog. So we could write dogs question mark, which means that uh, S is optional. S could be there or without S, it will also work. Then a dollar sign indicating that the page landing page uh, URL should end with this term. Then a pipe to show uh, an OR option, which is for cats. And similarly, doing the same pattern for cats, which we could write cats question mark indicating that S is optional. And at the end, a dollar sign. So now, if we were to use the same regular expression here and see if um, regular expression is matching, we could use something like regex match, indicate the term this, and give the regular expression which is in this cell. And um, yeah, this will give you a bo boolean value for true uh, or false indicating whether there was a match or not. I just logged cell A17 to make sure it always references this particular cell value for all the uh, pages down below. So now you could see some of the pages which are matching are in true, like the pages that we want, like Labrador dog, all dogs, Persian cat, cats, and the pages that we didn't want, like um, the dog food, cat food, these are not the pages that we are matching. All right. So one of the interesting things that we could do in Excel is to filter a list, uh, like a table. So what you could do is you could filter, like let's say for example, we want all of these uh, fields to be filtered. And um, we want the filtration um, with a condition. So the condition is a regular expression match, which is called a reg x match. And then you could regex match these onto the regular expression that we have written, which is in A17. And then like the last time we did, we, we log the cell A17. And yeah, here you go. So now you could imagine endless scenarios in which you could uh, use regular expressions to filter down reports according to whatever conditions that you want. Like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and visit my website for more such growth hacks at ankitbaga.com. Thank you for watching.